Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be taking you guys through a detailed look of my elevated parts collection. So let's get started. So here we have my panel of just random buttons. <clears throat> uh, I built this during quarantine of last year and it turned out pretty nice because I had all these extra buttons lying around. So I thought I would um, make it with my dad. Thanks to the help of him, we wired it up and it works pretty nice. Moving on over here, we have my uh, Otis black button call station mounted to this uh, piece of wood I made a while back. This was, uh, I think I made it a couple days ago actually. Um, I've stained it and I cut everything myself and it turned out actually kind of nice. <clears throat> Here we have my Otis Lexan call station. I drew that on there. It was just an empty piece of metal, so I thought I'd draw that on there. Uh, and it actually seems pretty nice. It's kind of big though. I don't, I don't think there's any Lexans out there that I know of that are this big, other than this one. Moving on over here, we have my PTO uh, call station. This came from eBay uh, for $15 actually. It was pretty decent priced. Moving on, we have my Innovation call station. This is, this braille I made has seen better days and it lights up. <clears throat> Moving on over here, we have some more buttons. Here's a series one I made. I made a board for it because it didn't have a board. It's just got a micro switch in it and that, that seems to work just fine. Here we have my Dover uh, stop run switch and I have the keys for it somewhere. I don't know where they're at right now. And we have my Dover door open braille. This uh, plate that goes to a Dover. And we have my two Otis buttons. Then we have my elevator plate that I made that I made the braille that says Dingus on it because I was just thought it would be funny. And yeah, moving on over here, we have my Dover Impulse car operating panel door open station. <clears throat> it's got um, the, the old, older switch, not the key switch. There's the alarm bell, ring, 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 and then the door close. Uh, this came from eBay for only 40 bucks, and there's still some out there for pretty cheap, so if you guys want some Dover stuff, uh, go check it out. Moving on down here, we have my Montgomery car top station. Uh, this came from eBay as well. Uh, most of these parts came from eBay. Um, so yeah, this came from eBay. It was only 80 bucks, if I remember. Pretty decent price. And I got two emergency stop buttons as well as a push to exit button. <clears throat> Moving on down here, we have my Schindler. M or Schindler MT call station, which is wired up. Uh, and over there is my Dover traditional, and there's me, hello. Uh, it doesn't light up yet. And then moving on over here, we have my very first elevator part, which is the Epco Circle Line, and yes, I have the key for it. Then down here, we have a couple bells. This one is a Westinghouse bell, I believe. And then over here we have my Dover bell. Oh. And then here we have my Otis car top station. Uh, it's missing a couple things off of it, but <clears throat> I only paid 60 bucks for this on eBay. So yeah, over here is my Otis black button car operating panel, which I got for Christmas. Uh, a couple years back and it seemed it's in pretty good condition I put springs in it because it was just the plate but it was kind of worth it here's my Otis series 5 panel uh, I drew those on there because I was originally gonna cut something for it and then I changed my mind here's the indicator and it didn't have any brails on it so I had to make some brails for it <clears throat> so yeah over here is a Chinese call station. Uh, I don't know the brand. Um, then here we have my ThyssenKrupp call station. 
which was given to me from someone that works for ThyssenKrupp uh, uh, for my birthday a couple years ago. And then over here, we have my In Case of Fire Use Stairs. Then here we have the Help, uh, the elevator phone. And that came from eBay. And then we have my two Dover Impulse Up arrows, as well as an Adam Survivor uh, button thingy. Here's a ThyssenKrupp Safety Ambassador uh, thingy given to me by ThyssenKrupp Safety Ambassadors as well as a Westinghouse Electric Corporation elevator company plate. Down here are my Dover Traditional uh, Brails, as well as a Dover Traditional plate that was also given to me. <clears throat> and then we have here a Otis, no, I think this is an Otis Braille. I'm not sure what brand it is, but yeah. Uh, and then we have my Dover elevator company uh plate thingy that was given to me as well as a capacity plate and a westinghouse plate moving down here we have an atom survivor call station that lights up uh it's kind of finicky and then we have my elevator of glossary or glossary of elevator terms as well as an old Lexan up-down arrow thingy that came from Christmas. And that's about it for this video. Uh, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.